India imports a total of 85% of its oil requirement and 50% of its natural gas requirement. It spends a whopping $119 billion out of the 560 foreign exchange kitty that it has. Energy accounts for nearly 7.5% of the CPI. With all this, you can understand how much is the dependency of oil on international market and the rate fluctuations. So what have we done to ensure that we don't end up in a crisis because of countries which are outside India's purview? So following video is going to talk about the steps that the government has taken to ensure our oil security rather than energy security in total. So it has done a six step process. Number one, uh, India is trying to diversify its sources of crude oil. Previously. We were buying crude from 27 countries in the year 2006-2007, whereas presently it's being sourced from 39 countries. So it has added new suppliers like Colombia, Russia, Libya, Equatorial Guinea, etc. Number two, increasing exploration acreage. We were working on an approximate acreage of 0.2 million square kilometers which has been increased to 0.5 million square kilometers by 2025 which is an increase of 120 percent and 1 million square kilometer by 2030 which is an approximate increase of 250 percent. Of course as we can understand as we increase the acreage we can expect new sources of oil and crude to be available to us. Point number three renewable energy. India presently has an installed capacity of 172 gigawatts and it's expected to go up to 500 gigawatts by the year 2030. The present capacity is approximately 42.25% of the total power that we consume. There are many more initiatives in renewable energy like providing solar pumps, national portal for installing rooftop solar systems, transmission lines and substations, massive wind energy, uh, PLI schemes for high efficient PV modules and state of art solar powered village in Gujarat. So all these initiatives has been taken by the government to ensure that we go in a, a carbon neutral and also self-sufficient energy curve going forward. Four, green hydrogen. In order to make India the hub for green hydrogen production, a whopping amount of 19,000 crores has been earmarked under National Green Hydrogen Mission for uh, production of green hydrogen, which is setting up a target of nearly 5 metric ton of hydrogen production. Now to put it into perspective, how much is the 5 metric ton of hydrogen? It is approximately equal to 17 lakh kiloliter of diesel. So that much is the quantity that uh, energy that the 5 metric ton of hydrogen can produce. The leading producers of hydrogen presently who are pursuing producing hydrogen are Adani, Reliance, Indian Oil, ONGC, etc. Ethanol mixing. India has also increased its ethanol mixing from 1.5% in 2013 and 2014 to 10% in 2022. And further, it has advanced the target of 20% ethanol blending from the year 2030 to 2025-26. This phase rollout of E20 will be commencing right in 1st April 2023. In doing the ethanol blending, India is saving as much as 53,000 crores of foreign exchange. The key companies in Indian ethanol market include Indian glycol, Balrampur Chini, basically the sugar producing uh, companies. Uttar Pradesh is set up to be the top ethanol producer in the company and the size of the industry has cost, already crossed over 20,000 crore mark. Thank you for watching friends, please like and subscribe if you can. Thank you.